Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss this result. The result says in a discrete matrix space every Cauchy sequence is convergent. Okay, so let us start with a definition of discrete matrix. So I am going to consider a discrete matrix space. Let XD be a discrete matrix space. Okay, so discrete matrix space is defined in this way. So therefore d of x y is equal to 0 if x is equal to y and it is equal to 1 if x is not equal to y. That means in a discrete matrix space there are two distances only 0 and 1. If both points are same distance is 0 and if points are distinct distance is 1 right. So such discrete matrix space we have we have to prove that every Cauchy sequence is convergent. So let us take one Cauchy sequence. Let xn be a Cauchy sequence in xd. Okay, so we all are familiar with the definition of Cauchy sequence. Definition of Cauchy sequence says for given epsilon greater than 0, there exists a natural number n such that d of xn xm less than epsilon. Okay, same definition I am going to write here. See, this is a Cauchy sequence, so that's why we can write, therefore, for given epsilon greater than 0, there exists a natural number n such that d of xn xm less than epsilon for all n m greater than or equal to capital N. So, this is a definition of Cauchy sequence. The definition says for given epsilon greater than 0, that means you can take any epsilon, doesn't matter definitely there will be a natural number for which this definition, this inequality will work. Get it? Epsilon, you can take anything, 1, 1 by 2, whatever you want. Okay, so here I am going to take epsilon is equal to 1 by 2. So let me write here. So for g, instead of writing given epsilon, I will take epsilon is equal to 1 by 2. Okay, so therefore for epsilon is equal to half obviously it is greater than 0 the definition says there exists a natural number n such that we will get this inequality okay i will put the value of epsilon so d of xn xm less than 1 by 2 for all n m greater than or equal to capital n but see right now we are in a discrete matrix space which is having only two distances 0 and 1 here we are getting distance is less than half. We have two distances 0 and 1 and distance is less than half. So distance will be 0 obviously getting. So let me mention distance is less than half. So only two options we have either 0 or 1. Distance is less than half. So it cannot be 1 since 1 cannot be less than half. So distance will be 0 only. So therefore D of xn xm is equal to 0 for all nm greater than or equal to capital N, right? So tell me when we get distance 0, if two points are same, you can easily see when we get distance 0, if both points are same. So here also we are getting distance 0, that means xn and xm both are same. Therefore, xn is equal to xm for all nm greater than or equal to capital N. What it means, that means we have a sequence like this x1, x2, x3 and so on. Up to xn minus 1 terms can be different. But after capital N, all terms are equal, all terms are equal. Just like 2, 2, 2, 2, whatever, 5, 5, 5, 5, all terms are equal. That means for few terms are different, distinct, but all remaining terms are same. We call it as a uh, constant okay eventually constant sequence what we say it is eventually constant sequence so such sequence we have okay so let me write so therefore xn is equal to x okay for all n greater than or equal to capital n i should mention say they are not given so what we get all after n after nth term all terms are same so i am calling them as x xn is equal to x for all n greater than or equal to capital n that means sequence will be like this x1 
x2, x3 and so on, xn minus 1, different terms. After that, x, 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 all remaining terms are x, okay. What we have to prove? We have to prove that it is convergent sequence. Now, I will prove that that sequence xn converges to the same point x. So, now this is our target, okay. So, let me mention. Now, we will prove. Now, we will prove we will prove that xn converges to x. Obviously, using epsilon definition, I'm going to prove. So let us take one epsilon. Let epsilon greater than 0 be given. So we have to prove that xn converges to x. That means we have to prove distance between xn and x less than epsilon. Then we can say xn converges to x. So this is equal to, let us find the distance, but as you can see, xn is equal to x, xn is equal to what? x, the second term is also x, xn is equal to x with this condition, so I should write this condition. So what is distance between x, x and x? Both terms are same, so obviously the distance is 0 and 0 is less than epsilon. So let us conclude, so what we get d of xn x, we got this is less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to capital M. So this is a definition of convergent sequence. So therefore, we can declare therefore xn converges to x. So we started with any Cauchy sequence and we proved it is convergent. Therefore, every Cauchy sequence is convergent in a discrete matrix space. Okay. So let me simply mention hence the result. Hence the result. So in this way, we proved this thing. So just make a screenshot of it then we will stop. Thank you. See you in next video.